Okay, take the time to go over this test so you're ready for your retest tomorrow. Make sure to actually practice it and not just copy the answers down. All right, these are your DIRT problems. So D equals RT is your formula. Now let's figure out what our D, R, and T are. So in the problem it says 14 miles per hour. That is a rate. So the 14 is where the R is. How long will it take me is a time. So the T is staying. And then the distance is 112 miles. So you have your equal sign in between. So now you're just solving that one step equation. Divide off the 14, divide off the 14. Now if you need to, you go off to the side and do 112 divided by 14 but it just comes out to eight. So your final answer is T equals eight hours. And yes, you have to have the hours on there. Number two, D equals RT, same thing. This one, it doesn't give you the miles per hour or the rate, you have to calculate it. So that right here, miles per hour is miles Per hour and it's in minutes so it's miles per minute this piece is a hundred and twenty minutes so that is a t or 180 minutes so that is a time 108 minutes and the TD is what I'm looking for because it says how far can I go so let's go ahead and simplify this and this is 1 12th and that is 108 and just copy the equals D so that's 108 divided by 12, and that comes out to 9. So your final answer, D equals 9 miles. Okay, your equation has to be in the Y equals MX plus B form. So we need our M and our B. If you notice, your B is a 0 because the Y intercept is 0. Your M is where you find your triangle. So that is your slope. So you need to write, draw out your triangle, and that would be mine. You could connect any two dots you prefer. Where the mistake is, is you're not realizing these are going by two, so that's two, four, six. So the distance here is actually six long. The distance over here is going by one, so it's just a two. That's six divided by two, which is a three. So your final equation, y, equals my m is a 3, my x, and I don't need to put plus 0. That makes it proportional because it's not adding anything. On our graph for our table over here, this is increasing by 50, increasing by 100, increasing by 200. This side is increasing by 1, those are 2, and this is 4. Now if you circle these, your rate of change is 50 divided by 1. Your rate of change is 100 divided by 2. Your rate of change is 200 divided by 4. And you need to recognize that all of those are equal to 50, and they are equal to each other, so it is a constant rate of change, so it is linear. So that means I have so far y equals 50x. Now we got to go back up. This, if I add one going this way, I subtract one, and that will get you your zero. I'm going by 50s, so if I subtract the 50, I get that zero. So that means my B is zero, so I don't need to add anything right there. Okay, on this one, this data is being represented on this graph, so the graph is easier to look at. So you look at zero, zero, so, and it is a straight line, so it is proportional. So all you have to do is write it out. Okay, this one you can use scale factor. So you just look and say, hey, it's getting smaller, and I'm dividing by three. So that means I will divide by three up here, and m equals four. This one, there is no scale factor from 30 to 45, but I can simplify this to 15 over one. And then there is a scale factor of times three. And one times three, G equals 3. Show the arrows. If you want to cross multiply, 
If you cross multiply, which is the second option, you have 18m equals 12 times 6. 18m equals 72. Divide by 18, and you get m equals 4. If you do it this way, you must show your, your equation and how you solve that one-step equation to get the final answer. So you could do it the blue way or the red way, either way. Same exact thing with number seven. If you do cross multiplication, you must show all of those answers of 30G equals 45 times two, which is in that second line equals 90. Divide by 30 twice, G equals three. All right, be sure and label as you go. So best foods, I'm gonna divide the two because it's a unit rate, and that's 372 divided by six, and you get 62 cents. Fresh buy, is $2.36 divided by four. And that comes out to 59 cents. Next one, one stop foods. That is $3.76 divided by eight. And that comes out to 47 cents. The last one, you have Superstore, $6.60 divided by 12 comes out to 55 cents. So then the winner is the cheapest one and you write out one stop foods is the best buy. Okay, the whole point of these is to set up the equation. In this, you are Comparing eggs, so I'm going to write eggs, and then two servings, so that would be servings. So that is a five to two ratio. Now you've got to keep it all the same, so it's asking for how many eggs, that's your X, and the servings must be on bottom with the two to keep it along the same line. So you cross multiply or simplify or use scale factor. In this case, I just use scale factor of times four and show the multiplication on there. So that means X equals 20. Write out your final answer, 20 eggs. Number 10, same exact strategy. Find out what two things you're comparing and that is quartz. So I'm gonna put quartz on one side and below it, I will put the dollar sign. So we have 1560, and that was for three quarts. Now they wanna know how much four quarts is, and the dollar sign is my question. So in order to do this one, you do not have a scale factor. There's nothing from three to four, you can't multiply it. You can find a unit rate, so if you prefer that, you divide and you just get 15.6 for three quarts, put the money under the hood every time, and you get $5.20. So 5.20, and they wanna know four quarts now, cause they're 5.20 each, and you get $20.80. Write out your final answer, $20.80 for four quarts. Last one, you're comparing pounds and ounces. So pounds over ounces. 3.2 pounds, and they wanna know how many ounces. Now those other two, again, you have to get from your reference chart, and it's one pound is 16 ounces. So you have your proportion set up. Now to solve it, you would cross multiply and you show that work. So this is one X equals 3.2 times 16. Now if you need to, you go off to the side and do the multiplication. Eight 
and then you make sure to use that decimal point. So that comes out to 51.2 ounces of beef.